Okay, here, let's sum a little more upbeat. Hey, good morning, how do you do? Soda. We've so got some good things for you, yes. It's just so fun, it's just for kids. It's time for the super touching. Either way, the sugar's going to kill you. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter how you get it. Right. Yeah. I like that you still believe these studies. And you're like, oh, okay, I'm going to stop. <laughs> yeah. There's All a right. new study every week. Yeah, Who does? every day. Yeah. Uh, number six, two words, Cheez-Its. They're the secret ingredient to taking your chicken from blah to ah. <laughs> All you have to do is take some crushed up Cheez-Its and use them instead of breadcrumbs. They provide that perfect crispy coating on your chicken breasts or your chicken fingers. The method works best when pan frying or using an air fryer. It gives just the right amount of tanginess and zing, mm. especially if you like a big cheesy flavor. Plus, the kids are going to love it. You are welcome. Oh, what do you know? Fun times there. Number five, there are eight basic standards women should have in any good relationship. Here we go. I love this when you a, tell women what yeah. we need to uh -huh. do. Go this on, Larry. Is, listen up, women. <laughs> yeah. This is according to health and well-being scientists, uh, not yeah. me. <laughs> All right. But we're, gonna, we're going to give you four of them today so you can, because your brain cannot handle eight at one time. Right. Start simple. <laughs> right. So anyway, just so you know, you want to think yeah, about it. We're here to we'll, help. we'll continue it tomorrow. So here's the first. We'll go slow. Read uh, slowly first, for them. <laughs> the, so first, the first four, look for people who have authenticity in their face. Uh, I'm out. Find friends of lovers who respect you and others. Huh? I'm not sure what that means exactly. All right, the third one is yeah. seek out a partner who is kind. Oh, oh this is great research. research. Another what? study. Okay. If you didn't hear me, I said kind, <laughs> not cruel. All right. And you want someone who is honest. What? Wow. This is no revolutionary. liars. Ah, wow. Anything yeah. less. If you find a guy who's cruel and a liar, don't date no. him. It's Unless he's really rich. <laughs> and then you may want to rethink some of Thanks, this. Thanks, Larry. I never would have thought of yeah. that. All right, number four, let's do some news you can use for your fall robe. How about a trench coat? Oh, yeah. You need to know how to style it correctly. You know, trench coats are timeless, but they can look boxy. Sure, but yeah. you got to style it right. Try wearing your trench coat open with some cute jeans, a light pull oh, sweater. That's... How about pairing it with white sneakers for a uh, cool, sporty, yeah. chic vibe? Yeah, yeah. If you want a bit of an edge, try some faux leather leggings in black or brown. All right. Add a fun top and some ankle boots. If you want more glam, yeah. try a LBD little black dress and some ballet flats sure. and the trench over it. It will instantly give you that instant Aubrey Hepburn energy. Oh, and one more yeah. thing, that belt is there for a reason. It cinches the waist. Don't forget to use yeah. it. Some of those can be unforgiving. Or sometimes you tie it in the back. You know, you tie both loops in the back sure. and that cinches you a little bit What's too. the distinction between the Audrey Hepburn look and the creepy flasher look? Because you yeah. used to wear that trench yeah. coat in the 90s. <laughs> and like days. Everybody would yeah. kind of like walk the other way. Yeah, yeah. well I had shorty shorts on underneath <laughs> yeah, it. that was the problem. That's the difference. Yeah. Uh, number three, Gen Z loneliness is a real problem. According to a recent survey, people age 18 to 25 reported feeling lonelier than any other demographic. And they're spending at least $500 a month on things like gym and social club memberships in hopes of meeting more people. Huh. They're also signing up for more activities like improv or cooking classes. And as a result, they're spending less money on solo trips and streaming services. Experts say a lot of those uh, feelings of loneliness were set during the pandemic. And this is just one more impact it's had on Gen Z. All right, number two, the many hats of Gertrude Schilling. She was known as the mascot of Ascot. Her son, David Schilling, was considered to be one of the greatest milliners and hat makers in the world. He created all of these hats for his mom to wear at Royal Ascot in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Wow, -wee. Look at that. That's some plumage. Glorious. Look at that. <clears throat> all right. All right, number one, let's play a little game. Uh, the year is 1692, and here are some of the traits that would qualify you as a witch. This is according to the laws and evidence that, that were used during the Salem Witch Trial. So here we go. Number one, you're a woman. <laughs> Check. Yeah. Number two, uh, you're financially independent. Oh boy. You're two for two so far, Robin. <laughs> Number three, uh, you have one or more close female friends. Oh. oh boy. Number four, you've had an argument with one or more of those female friends. You're like five for five yeah. so far. 
Uh, number six, you have a mole or a distinguishing birthmark, mm. uh, or you've broken any rule in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> so there's any a whole bunch of them in there. Just pick yeah. one. Uh, you instantly, uh, if you did that, you're instantly in pact with the devil. Yeah. Uh, and if you are any of these things, uh, if you've done any of it, just be thankful that it's not the 21st century. But it that it is the 21st century, yeah. right? Or it isn't either. Yeah. For um, some of us. Uh, well, thanks. A lot yeah. of great tips for women today. Uh, yeah, five for close to five to five. That's five the six for five. And six. Yeah.